let's get straight into it. Instead of waiting until the end, I'm going to bring the end to the beginning, to before the beginning in fact. What I'm about to tell you is the first part to the greatest story never told. If you believe you have no attachments or beliefs, you may need to think again. Are you really here? Is this reality real in any way? Are you even human? You see, our beliefs are not just about our outward reality. They come from our most fundamental perceptions of ourselves. And that is the key. Because you are more than who you believe you are. And so I am going to tell you what that all means, right now. Then I'm going to give some examples that were also given to us to loosen and release preconceptions before we start the story. There is no point simply adding more and more knowledge and imagery to what you already have. Only when one lets go can what is real reveal itself. I will also show you why what I am about to say is factual and real. Truths are never complex, despite what most existing orthodox organisations would have you believe to keep so much out of reach. And so this message is simple. The world we live in is a recreated program of thought and memory. It is a vast program, a program of a time in the universe that once existed a long, long time ago. Originally simulated by an advanced energy of intelligence using memory simulation techniques and light to open up and explore the ancient past. In its original form, it was a well-respected and profound experience of learning and self-discovery. Many would enter this program to understand what it used to be like here, experiencing the different lands and times of the past of planet Earth and many, many other worlds. Ultimately, something beyond this program occurred and the results inside were disastrous, imprisoning so many. As a consequence, this program has been running in a state of deterioration and chaos, trapping so many inside. But the mission to locate so many who were lost here has now been completed, and it is time to wake up. There is a real world that exists beyond this, and this documentary will show you how right I am. Over the past several decades, quantum physicists and theoretical mathematicians have slowly started to realise the holographic nature of what we call reality, observing connections between energy, matter and consciousness. And whilst observing there is a link, never truly understanding how or why it is all here to even be observed in the first place. Beyond measurement and calculation, beyond even the holographic model of the universe, is the function of a program, light projecting and encoding energy through multidimensional space as life. Take a look around at the image of it all. This world is not exactly a place of harmony and balance. There is so little love here. If we look beyond the vicinity of our everyday lives, there is so much that is so very wrong with this world. So much that just doesn't make sense. So much division and so much separation of beliefs, cultures and ideologies. This world is an out-of-control dream, a nightmare for some, blissful ignorance for others. The nature of time is not what most people think it is. What occurred here so long ago has been corrected. You need to know that. But so many are still caught in its wake, looping in endless cycles of memory, living out a life on earth as if it was all that was real, living within illusion as their reality. At this point, I am not speaking relative to movies, such as The Matrix, The Truman Show, Vanilla Sky or other productions. 
whilst these narratives do have parallels, I am talking about so much more that was revealed to us before these stories even hit the screens or became known. You may be asking why these revelations were revealed to us. For the same reason, I am presenting this documentary to you right now to wake up those who need to remember. And to that end I say this. If you are watching this documentary because you are looking for answers, craving for a discovery that will help you understand the meaning of your life, then I would ask why? Why are you looking at all? And I will simply answer that by saying to you, you cannot yearn for what you do not already know only that which you know but have forgotten. All is relative. All comes from the one of all and is separated into lesser parts of itself. This experience of separation called life is but a limited experience of what you really are. That is why you crave to understand, because you crave to remember what you have actually forgotten about you. You cannot feel something missing that has never been there. The lesser always comes from the greater. You cannot be trying to understand something you do not already have inside you. Otherwise, there is no relativity. Evolution is not true here. It is nothing more than a fiction of memory. Because in a reality such as this, where we are headed is back to where we came from in the first place. Separation is an aspect of experience, not a pathway of the gradual supremacy over life. Imagine your everyday life for a moment. Perhaps it has people who do not wonder what you do, who do not search like you do, who do not seem to have something inside them that knows or feels what you do, or questions like you do. And that is okay. This world is a program, and it contains so many program characters. But love shared with anyone in your life is still love. But if you do feel lonely in your life, you don't need to feel that way anymore. You are far from alone, and I am here to show you why. And so, if you were living within a program, a dream, that was not real, and something entered to wake you up, would you recognize it? Would you listen? Or would you reject it outright based on your programmed beliefs, or bias based on fear or denial, because perhaps it is just too painful, too inconvenient, too confronting, or even too traumatic to remember? I am not here to take anything away from you, not at all. It is in fact the greatest gift of awakening you may ever have. You have nothing to worry about. The experiences and examples I am going to share in this documentary will show you how right we are. And deep down inside, you will know. What does life look like for someone who does not belong here? always restless or searching. Some invest their need to defend the right freedom into a cause. Others take on a reclusive way of life, attaching themselves to a belief system of religion or become lost in science or the New Age movement, full of ideologies and theories that stimulate deeper memories but never touch the ones that will free them. But what if it was only a moment ago You lay down and entered here. What if it was only a breath away? And here, within time, it has been a lifetime. Many lifetimes. Centuries. Even millennia. You see, in a dreamlike program, the wheel of time not only turns so very very slowly. It keeps repeating on an endless loop into the future and back to the past again. Prophecies that come and go. Deja vus. Hope. 
Groundhog Day. Nothing new, only the old program repeated under a different name, a wiped memory, a different disguise. Never an answer, only more questions. And the longer this corrupted program runs, the more it becomes unstable, until it begins to break down and fall apart, like this world is doing right now. The phrase, we accept the reality with which we are presented, is only for those who accept the limitations of a program. I have a memory from beyond this program that survives and endures, and I am here to help you understand we are all currently sharing a collective experience based on the memory of what once life on earth was like. A reconstruction of thought and memory. Relative to our consciousness and our bodies, it feels very real. Relative to what we really are beyond here, it is a total illusion. And we will look further into what that actually means very shortly in our story. <laughs>